good morning students today we will start the operation on binary file it means how to read and write on a binary file you already study the type of files there are three types of file binary file text file and csv file also created text file is completed the previous class then we are studying today binary files What is the binary file? It means the data is stored the similar way in the memory is in memory data is stored. It means data will be stored in the binary format. Okay. Then this is the example. This is the example of binary. First we open the binary file in the form of write that's why we are using mode wb plus it means w for write b for binary file the binary file name is binary dot uh, binary underscore file dot dat okay the extension is used for dat then this is the text the one is required because data is stored in the form of binary. It means it is not a readable form. It means there is some encoding is required to store the data. Then it, in which we are using the UTF-8. UTF-8 it means Unicode Transformation Format. And 8, 8 means 8 bits. It means the per character will be take the one byte. Okay. This is it. Then we write. So we are using the object dot write then encoded okay then it is similar to seek already we studied the seek okay we already write this one text seek pointer is moved to the zero zero means starting of position then binary underscore file dot read because we are using plus wb plus it means write and read both format move to the top and read then display the data that is stored already in the binary file and then convert to the utf code again it means it is decoded data is stored in the form of encoded and when we are reading then we have to convert again to the normal it means utf8 just check it this one this file is not readable okay this one just check First, we open the file. Okay. Open the file in the mode of WB plus. It means binary file. That's why we are using the WB. It means write and read plus binary. And text is hello one two three. Okay. Then we are convert to the then we are convert by using the encoding encoding it means we are using the utf okay then write then write the data okay because data is stored in text and text dot encode it means this text hello space one two three is encoded by the help of utf8 this is the code and it means it is converted utf then we are already right then file is moved to the top of the file it means starting of the file then we read this file and we write that's why this is stored 
in the binary format. That's why it is written B hello one two three. Clear? This B is indicate that the data is read in the form of B. We are not encoded. Again, then we decode. First we encode, then decode. What is the form? Again, UTF. It must be the both will be a same. Encoding and decoding format must be a same. Okay, this is UTF-8 and this is UTF. Clear? Encoding and decoding. Then write print text now it is normal data normal data means hello one two three without b because we are decode the binary to the normal character it is clear first open the file in which mode binary mode then text converted to the encode and write to the file after it when we read read the normal function read function read function is used read then again decode the format must be the same if you are using utf 16 then utf 16 encoding decoding most more um, both Okay, now this one binary uh, opening and closing of binary file is the same as text file opening and closing it is similar there are no changes either we are using the binary file or text file while opening any binary file we have to specify b in file opening mode we always uh, always know wb it means b for binary it means file will be open in the right mode with a binary file if we on, on, only write w it means file is text next in the above program finally underscore dat open in the w this mode then encoding method is used to convert the data okay this one is completed next problem with the approach of the previous slide comes from the fact that it is not very easy to use when we want to write several object into the binary file uh, in the previous program we are just write the string but it is not useful because we always want to we have different type of data types like string tuples list dictionary different types then we have to write and read this is some difficult task with the previous part because it is always convert to the binary that's why we need module this is called the pickle okay then it provides us with the ability to serialize and deserialize object it means to convert object into bit stream which can be stored into file and later be used to reconstruct the original object clearly it means it will convert to the object object may be a string integer or list tuples dictionary into the bit streams okay then when we want to retrieve then again convert to the same original object Then there are two main function is used. The first one is pickle dot dump. Okay, this function is used to store the object data to the file. It is similar to the write. Okay, it means this function is used to store the object data to the file. It take three arguments okay the first argument is the object that we want to store okay then second argument is the file object we get by opening the desired file in the form of binary mode the third argument is key value argument 
this argument define the protocols which protocols we are using to store to write the data in a binary file there are two type of protocols first one is pickle dot highest underscore protocol second one is a default it is not compulsory if you are not provide the third argument it will take the default protocols okay but two argument is compulsory first one is the object that we want to write in the binary file and second one is the file object in which we have want to the second method is pickle underscore load this function is used to retrieve pickle data it means this is similar to the read but this read the only those data is stored with the help of dump function okay it is very simple okay this is used only for the binary file okay this is the example for both function we have to import library import pickle then noted very hard program this one is it means we open the file a dot pin in which format open wb it means binary for write these are the different objects we are taking the four integer first one is integer second one is a string this one is integer a string list dictionary different type of object we are want to store in binary file the very simple then we are using because pickle so caps lock is on pickle dot which function is used to store or write dump then argument first one is the object that we want to store for example i want to the first one is my int comma second one is the file object this is out quote underscore file and close third argument is not composite we'll take the default protocol so just okay let's see this one integer this right string list dictionary then close nothing we are encoding decoding is required here clear next again file is open read mode it means rb file is open then which function is used to read load then again write pickle dot load this is need the only the one argument file object and it will read and return to the one object or variable i write my int then my string read first second then this one then we print okay the my int will 42 then python language this is the list and dictionary just check it is worked or not this one is okay it means this file is a dot bin is created this one is right and this one open just check the file is created or not open because we have dot given the path it means the current directory the file is created in the current directory c then on file file is a dot bin it means this is created 
but it's not a readable form that's why we are not opening it's clear No. If you want to read the binary file one by one, okay, it means not at a time at a, at all. We want to just first read first line, then print, then read second line, then print. Then we, it is called the iteration. Okay. Then this it is a similar. Then file is open. In which mode? RB. It means read mode. It is a similar. If I if I write this one, not headache. F equals to open. This is the path where the file colon slash slash a dot bin comma RB. Okay. It is just similar, not this is the same. I write this one or this one, clear it, but it is a like a loop, okay. Then what we while true, it means it will loop will be start until the condition is true. Then this is the try and catch. What is the try and catch? This is the exception handling. Okay. If any exception is done or uh, happened during this portion, this portion, then the try function, try keyword is transfer this execution to the exception. Okay then it is transferred to the exception exception may be a different it means the program is terminated without any reason exception handling clear for the exception handling they are using the try and catch it means try if any error is come in this portion this block in this block then the control is moved to the here it means what is the exception end of file error it means we just uh, for example in the file there are three rows we read first file condition is true load print then second okay then third after third if we load then it will show the error which type of error end of file error because file is ending file is end so it will show the error in this condition it will be a break if this type of error will come it will be the break it means terminate the while loop okay then what what first try it will read the first line pickle dot load f f is the object name this one file object r print r print this one then read second then third up to the end of file this type of error is come then it will the break and close just see. this one i am just right f equals to open a dot bin clear because i already said that the both is similar which one you want either write with open this one as f or write f equals to open this one both are same just to run okay because we have already created this one then first one is 42 this is the integer this is read the first line 
then print next data because we already write this one next data that it is print this one then next line then next take next next okay it will execute line by line firstly it's a one line second third it is a similar to the read function read line sorry okay in a text file we are using the read line function to read the one by one line the same we are using here because in this binary file the pickle has only two main function load and load for re, uh, read and dump for write okay this one is just point out this one now search in a binary file for example we have to search then open the file in the read mode again try this one first read then this one in here we are using the searching r if r equals to equals to if you want search something then i write if r equals to equals to 100 then it will be the or something then we can easily search anything then this one if we want to add something in the end of file then we open the file in which mode a b plus append mode for writing it is similar to pickle dot dump what is this for updating we can compare r with the desired value and edit it and can write edited value in the new file just just similar to the text file nothing else created the file read from here updation perform the updation of data and stored in the new file delete the old one and rename the new one this is similar okay in the next class we study about the csv file comma separated value okay thank you